Allie Borealis here. Welcome to my channel and thanks for subscribing. I'm in iconic Palm Springs, California, where most all things here are mid-century modern. I'm here to do a little bit of thrifting and soak up the mid-century modern iconography and architecture and most of all the sun. It is over 100 degrees here. I'm also going to take you around to an historic 1950s mid-century modern mobile home park. It's spectacular and has been really well maintained. You don't want to miss it. I only made one thrifting stop in Palm Springs and it was at this store called Revivals. And on my way there, I passed this mid-century modern building and then I realized it was a KFC. I discovered this Kentucky Fried Chicken is a new building that's a nod to mid-century. Now you can definitely find some deals at this thrift shop and with a little digging you can find some really good deals. I like to look through everything but I usually don't buy heavier pieces or bulkier pieces when I'm traveling just because I got to get them home. So my meat and potatoes is the jewelry. I did go through most of their jewelry while I was here and I found two pieces that I ended up purchasing and I'll show you why. To my surprise, this place also had two bulk jewelry bags that I did glance over but didn't purchase. One seemed to be just watches and the other seemed to be kind of Mardi Gras style beads. So I passed on both of them. So the first thing I picked up is this brooch that's a little jade tree, it's faux jade. And it has a whole lot of movement and uh, turn it over and you can see the back of it. It does have a brand name and the brand name is Jean, is the French pronunciation of it. I'm not really familiar with this brand. It was priced at $10. They gave me a 10% veterans discount, so I paid $9. They didn't charge me tax, not sure why. So I was gonna post the eBay link here and give you guys 10% off of my eBay listing price, but I posted it and it sold in 30 minutes which tells me I may have underpriced it, but all in all, it was a good buy. Before I show you the second brooch I bought from there, I wanted to show you where we stayed. This hotel has the largest pool in Palm Springs. So if you like the sun and you like laying out by the pool, you definitely wanna stay here. It's the Renaissance Palm Springs and it's in the Marriott Bonvoy portfolio. Getting back to thrifting, now this place had a couple of things in the case where I thought, oh, they knew what they were looking at when they priced these things. One is the Boucher here. The other is this turquoise necklace that they priced at 150. And then we have this turquoise pendant down here that they priced at $40. I thought, oh, they must really know their turquoise pieces. But then I saw this. This is the second one I picked up. It's a very large piece of turquoise. Now I don't know a whole lot about turquoise, so I posted it to one of the turquoise jewelry groups I'm in on Facebook. It is a vintage piece, probably 1960s. It could even possibly be late 50s. I would hesitate to say it's from the 70s because the 925 stamp uh, started coming into use in 1973. So we know it's earlier than 1973 if it's stamped sterling and not 925 and looks as old as this piece looks. So I cleared up the sterling silver mark a little bit so you could see what I was seeing. I'm not really clear what the upper mark says. If anybody can make that out or decipher it, please put it in the comments. So the metal of the piece is definitely hand wrought and the roping hand twisted. The turquoise itself was notable that it's high domed and it was either believed that it was Kingman, which would make it a Native American piece, or a Lapidaris commented that he thought it was probably the rarer Baja turquoise, which would make it from Mexico more than likely. So if we have any turquoise experts out there, can you please put it in the comments what you think it is? I would love to know. And I paid only $9 for this large sterling vintage turquoise brooch. 
I really think it was just overlooked depending on who was sorting jewelry that day as to why the other two turquoise pieces were so much more expensive and this one was only $9. moving right on along to the mobile home park. This is a 55 plus community and I did uncover some photos of when it was first being built. I believe it was built in the mid 50s. If you recognize the years of some of the old cars in the photos, let me know. Put it in the comments. It looks like quite a few people were moving in airstreams during this time. So here's where we are today. Now I'm starting off with one of the nicest looking ones in the park, but it's indicative of how well maintained this park is. And this one is a mobile home. I'll show you what they do here. Most of these were built in the 50s and 60s, and you can tell by looking at some of these. They'll build a structure over the main part of the trailer to absorb some of the heat so that the sun isn't directly hitting the metal roof of the trailer. It's being absorbed by the kind of a, it's kind of a carport style structure and then they'll put a more permanent structure onto the side of it to expand the square footage as we drive along you'll see most of these are designed this way with the overhang and the more permanent structure on the side so they're really not going anywhere and they've been very well maintained and if you like the mid-century look and lifestyle, these are really affordable. The complex has a swimming pool and it's walking distance to stuff in Palm Springs. And there's quite a bit of established vegetation, so you will get some shade. And it's tucked at the base of the foothills here, so you're right up against uh, kind of a mountain range. I think this one is so adorable with that blue trim. The streets all have desert inspired names. You have streets like Oasis and Caravan, Camel, Safari. And I'll show you one that's actually on the MLS and what the interiors look like. So this is the one that's listed on the MLS. And I'll show you the interiors are fantastic on this one. It even has a couple of nice trees in the yard. I love the post and beam ceilings. The whole place feels very large, like you wouldn't feel like you were inside of a mobile home. It has great natural light coming in with all the windows. And you can't really differentiate when you're in here which part is the mobile home part and which part is the established addition. Thanks for joining me today. That's a wrap for Palm Springs. If you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Ha <laughs>